Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install Apps Scaler in Stable Diffusion in 2024. Apps Scaler are tools that enhance the resolution and quality of images generated by Stable Diffusion. So in this tutorial, we will walk you through the steps to set up and install Apps Scaler with Stable Diffusion on your local machine. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser, of course, because like before we begin, uh, we will need to make sure that you have everything on you need, that you need. You'll need the computer, of course, or a decent GPU, as both Stable Diffusion and App Scaler require significant computational, uh, computational power. Uh, other than that, or additionally, you will need Python installed on your system. So if you don't have it, as I said, once you open your browser, for me, I'm using Brave for you, you can use it whatever you want. Go to the shower section, just go and type, of course, python.org slash downloads. So slash downloads. Hit the enter button, and this should take you right away to their uh, download link or download page. Basically, click on this download Python right here. Download it and install it. Once it's downloaded, uh, once you have now Python, you will also need like Git for uh, virgin control. You can get that from uh, another. Um, so just go and open another tab and go here and type git and c uh, or scm dot com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, click on download for Windows if you have Mac, download for Mac, and simply download it standalone, portable, or you can even download this using a Win, uh, Win Gets, of course, tool by simply running this command on PowerShell. So you can go and open PowerShell or Terminal, the same thing, run this specific command, just go and copy it and run it, and it should be downloaded. Of course, uh, finally, ensure that you have a stable internet connection for downloading the necessary files as well. So first, uh, we will need, of course, to set up the environment to keep our installation clean and organized to install Stable Diffusion and also to install the App Scaler with it. So you'll need to navigate into the directory where you want to install like Stable Diffusion and App Scaler. And to do so, you'll need to run the following command. You can do that, of course, in CMD and PowerShell, Terminal, which is Terminal, the same thing, or whatever you want, or wherever you want. So just run the following command. First of all, uh, of course, Python. Uh, slash m or dash m then stable uh, diffusion a and v and after that you'll need to run another command of course depending uh, if you have like mac you'll need to run this if you have like windows just remove the source uh, basically and type the following as example it's going to be stable diffusion uh, as you can see this is back like or reverse slash script and activates it's going to be the same as one instead of when you'll find activates and you'll find source removed and this will basically create and activate a virtual environment named stable diffusion AMV. and yeah basically next we'll need to clone the stable diffusion repository from github and navigate into the project directory to do so of course you'll need to type git clone uh, basically, you'll need to add the link of the repository of uh, like Stable Diffusion. Of course, I already have it. If you wanna just if you have a tool to copy from image, as example, or something like that, or uh, I don't know, you just wanna copy it from the video. It's up to you. If you wanna just go to their Git example, just type type Stable like a Diffusion GitHub. Hit the enter button. Go to the first link, and you'll find the link right here to download it. As simple as that. Of course, after that, you'll need to go and type like, so let me just go and remove that. So, of course, I'm not running the command because I've already done this. So, cd, of course, like stable diffusion, basically. So, just type like stable diffusion in here and etc. And now, you'll need to install the required Python packages using pipe. Install. So, just go and type pipe. Install, as an example, uh, dash r of course not with 3l install so dash r requirements uh, so requirements in here okay that's not how you write requirement don't write it like that so basically requirements and dot of course txc and you should be good to go after that you will need of course basically this will download the the packages needed and will install all the depend uh, dependencies needed for stable diffusion 
And of course, stable diffusion also will require some pre-detained model weights to function. You can download these weights from their official repository on here or the link provided by GitHub like README. You can simply go to README and you'll find the link as example. So you'll find the requirements and everything, as you can see, to download everything that you want. So make sure to download them all. And yeah. And basically, once you download it, you will need to move it to a folder, name it whatever you want. For me, as an example, I'll name it model. So we'll need, first of all, to create that folder with make or make directory. Uh, as an example, dash p uh, models, I'll name it. Hit the enter button. And then you'll need to move those files from uh, where you download it, as an example, so the path of download to models, just space models, and it will be moved in there. After that, uh, you'll need to install the app scaler. And we'll use, of course, a popular upscaler model like uh, Real Srogan. First, as example, you can simply just go and look for Real or Scan and get as an example. And yeah, it's this one. So from here, you'll get the link. Of course, if you want to, as you can see, you find uh, everything that you want, how to install it, basically. Uh, or you can simply just, again, follow from here. So get a clone as an example and basically just copy this specific link if you have it uh, or if you have a tool example as i said before to copy something from image or just copy it as it is if you want to then of course you'll need to access it by cd so just go and see the the real uh Sargan as example uh, so here you'll need to find a, a dash and of course it should be caps Erzgan or Erzgan, and then of course you'll have again to install the necessary de dependencies and real Erzgan uh, or Erzgan library. Basically, with the same like pipe install like dash r requirements first. Then you'll need to type Python setup uh, dot pi install. And this basically will compile and install real uh, SGAN on your server or on your system or SRGAN. And note that the installation process may take some time depending on your machine performance and internet. And after installing it, you'll need, of course, to integrate it with Stable Diffusion. You can modify the script. Uh, you can use the real SGAN, of course, for upscaling images generated by Stable Diffusion. And yeah, so basically, just uh, like how to do it. So basically, in your image generation scripts, it should be something like that. And to load, of course, your pre-trained upscaler model, you'll be able to do it like that with the, here the path of the images that is pre-trained, as example. Uh, to generate an image with the stable diffusion, of course, you will need to do this, generate image uh, equals, etc. Of course, you'll find the image and output. And to upscale the generated image, you'll need basically to type the following command upscale image uh, equals upscale and generated image that you just generated uh, which is you're gonna be uh, which is that we did before in here because we did before like generated image equal that the, the the prompt that we have as simple as that and yeah now you can start running a stable diffusion upscaler uh, with normally this command you can upscale it or whatever it was as I showed you before and yeah that's gonna be it for me today thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye